Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, so again, welcome to this uh, May edition of the IG Live. Uh, thanks for so much for for joining us. We've been doing these for for quite a few times now. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the previews, the sneak peeks, um, what we have in store for you for in terms of releases and pre-orders. Um, we got it again, a whole huge list of cards um, that this month. So we're gonna dive right into it. Um, so the, the next batch of cards that you're going to see are the May releases. Um, it's going to go live on May 18th, which is next Thursday for TWOC members. Um, and then the 19th, uh, for the public, if you haven't joined the Tarmac Works Owners Club, please do, um, you get, you know, discounts on our website, you get a 24 hour window in terms of. Um, order, you know, buying the cars um, before everybody else. So it, it is a great deal. You do get a membership car as well. Um, so please do and join us. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. We got some new toolings for this particular release. Um, the first one up is the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTAM in red metallic and also the GTA also in that same uh, same color, same red metallic. This is the signature color, obviously, for the Julia. Um, the GTA and the GTA M's are both special editions. I think the GTA only 500 units were made in terms of the real car. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, both cars are are very sought after. Um, I love this this car. This is why we picked this as the, as the first Alfa Romeo to do. It was one of the cars that I I really wanted to get, uh, but a little bit out of the price range, but uh, it's 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 just a tremendous car, tremendous looking sedan, probably one of the best looking sedans out there. Uh, it does have a Ferrari engine, which 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 is why this is so so awesome. Um, so not only great looks, but the, the great engine as well. So both of these are Global 64, completely brand new tooling. Our first Alfa Romeo. This is the Giulia GTA M and the, and the GTA both in red metallic. Another new tooling that we have is the HKS Toyota GR86 in red color with the HKS stripe on the side. Um, this is again also a completely new, a brand new tooling. Uh, it is also in collaboration with HKS, so they have reviewed um, this car for us as well, approved. Uh, so you see all the all the front lip, the side skirts, the rear wings. Uh, all um, uh, designed by HKS, uh, so this is also an official um, HKS livery stickers, if you will. So this is the HKS Toyota GR86, also in the Global 64 uh, collection. Next up, we have two um, F1s, McLaren MCL 35M. The first one is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2021, driven by Daniel Ricciardo. The second one also in the same Grand Prix driven by Lando Norris. Uh, this was a one-off livery, as you can see, um, the the sort of the rainbow stripes, if you will. Um, it, it was a campaign called Driven by Change. So it was a one-off livery uh, for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in 2021. Next up to match the the um the mclaren f1s we have the mclaren formula one team pit garage star rama as you can see from the product photo uh, we do have ricardo and norris uh, next to each other and you can see the pit walls all decorated in the mclaren um, f1 design as well as the the floor is also um you know, designed to mimic the, the real thing. So this will go really well with also the AMG um, pick garage that we did before. So if you have, if you're an F1 fan, if you own the McLaren cars, uh, this is kind of a must have um, to, to kind of put your McLaren F1s and to take pictures with or just to, to store your store your cars basically. So these are all part of the Global 64 uh, lineup. And then we have one last one, which is a special edition that we did for Taiwan. It was for the Stan's Garage um, event. Uh, this comes in the matte black 
color, very cool looking matte black with these um, black and silver rims. I think this looks fantastic. Um, so this was for the Taiwan Stan's Garage event uh, that was done this year. This is the Vertex Nissan Silvia S14 in matte black. Moving on, we have a Road 64 model, which is the Volvo 242 Custom in black. It has the sort of gold rims, gold and silver rims. We did this um, Volvo in the green color before, and then the, the response was really good. So we followed this up with the, with the black version. Next up is also a Volvo. This one is the 240 Turbo. Is the Macau Gear Race 1985 winner. It has the Watsons. Uh, Watsons is a, a water company here in Hong Kong, a beverage company. So um, it has the Watsons uh, iconic sort of uh, design livery on it. And this is the 1985 winner. Following that is a uh, collaboration with John Sabal, a friend and famous designer in the U.S. Uh, this is his own RWB964, and I had the privilege um, to actually take photos and see this car in Los Angeles back in uh, November last year. John was kind enough to drive the car out, and uh, we took some photos with the with the real car as well. He has done a fantastic job with the car i love the the gray color um on it it just looks uh, fantastic and uh, this is the 64 scale obviously uh rwe 964 john sabal collaboration and on the packaging you can actually see john's um design on the graphics as well uh, we've put his uh, Graphic design on the packaging, um, which you will see on the on the on the packaging box as well. Next up, we have a pair of Toyota Supra GT. They both raced in the uh, BPR Ju High Race in 1995. One is one is the number thirty six, and the other is the number thirty seven. Um, so not only the, the are the numbers different, you actually see a side mirror. On the number uh, 36, which is not on the 37, so the um, uh, the side mirrors uh, combo is a bit different. On the 37 is on the on the on the door, as you can see here. Uh, on the 36 is on the front near the wheel front wheel arch, so they're um, a bit different in, in terms of that. The delivery, of course, is a the famous you know iconic Marlboro livery. We will have the uh, decal, the decal stickers included. Um, in the packaging because it, it is a cigarette company we cannot stick it on there but you can um, do that on your own uh, so these are the two um, Super GTs that raced in BPR Zhuhai in 1995 next up we also have another <coughs> Marlboro car is the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth this is the rally version of the Sierra RS Cosworth uh, it has the really Fantastic looking lights on the front, as you can see here. Again, this is a Marlboro um, decoration, and it will have the decoration stickers included in, in the box. The lights in the front, it's, it's, it's amazing, I think. Uh, it makes this very special, and you can also see the spare rim and wheels in, in, inside the car, which it's a nice little detail. So this is the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth that raced in 1988 in the Rally de Portugal. Last two is a little bit of a surprise. If you haven't seen our IG story, um, it is a collaboration model with Mini Champs and is a completely new tooling. This is the Porsche Cayman GT4 RS. Um, Fantastic details, as you can see on the on the rear wing, uh, on the arms and the rear wing, 
Um, it has the carbon carbon fiber pattern on the front bonnet. It is a very new model. Um, this particular racing yellow, only 1,200 pieces produced. So um, it was a special edition for the uh, hobby show in Beijing. And we do have some um, quantities saved for the web store. So do grab these um, because they are very rare models. And um, this is the, the way the Mini Trans wants to do it, is to keep it very rare, very sought after. And uh, hope you guys can, can have a chance to get one of these on, on the web store. So this is the yellow color. And then we have the ruby, sort of ruby red color. Um, the rims are a bit different as well. It's a different style rims. It's kind of this bronze uh, color rims and, and the details on this is fantastic. Um, it's a little bit different from the other one with the, with the yellow. It has a black bonnet. This one is a is a, is, is more clean. Um, this is the ruby starnio color and also tr only 1200 pieces made worldwide. The bulk of the quantity went to Beijing went to China for that event so only very few pieces um, that we have reserved for the web store for our worldwide uh, overseas collectors and um, again with the TWOC membership you get first hand you get 24 hours uh, window on this uh, these types of special editions um, so that's one of the benefits for joining if you haven't joined yet I strongly urge that you join and um, so that you can grab these two Caymans or the Sylvia S14 or any of the regular models that that um, uh, uh, sold out rather quickly on the web store. So that does it for the May release. Again, it will be um, on the web store on May 18th as well as our authorized resellers, of course. Um, do order them through them and then um, May 19th for the public. Next, we will move on to the pre-orders. And this pre-order was actually sent out today, so you're going you're gonna to be seeing, that, seeing the, these cars on social media. We have six of these. Uh, so this is the Global 64 and Hobby 43 scale um, pre-order. The first one up is also the Alfa Romeo Giulia. This is the GTA M. As you can see, there's the the bigger wing in the back. That's how you can basically tell from the GTA and the GTA M. Um, this is the green metallic version. The um, estimated release date will be in, in October this year. Uh, really, really, really nice looking uh, green metallic color. Outside of the red, I think this is this is probably the, the second best looking color for the for the Julia. Next up, we have an F1, which is the Mercedes AMG W11 EQ Performance. This was the British Grand Prix 2020 winner driven by Lewis Hamilton. The winner board is also included, as you see. Um, and if you can recall this particular race, um, Lewis actually had a uh, front left puncture, but still was managed to, to finish the lap and, and win the race. Um, it was the third consecutive home victory um, for Lewis. Uh, so it was a memorable race in a really nice looking black um, livery W11. Next up is also a black color car, which is the Mazda RX-7 FD3S Mazda Speed A-Spec. It's called a brilliant black color with the really nice looking uh, silver gold rims to go with it. Again, it's uh, all of these are targeted for an October release. So this is the Mazda Speed version of the FD3S. Next up we have a Porsche 911 Turbo S LMGT which raced in the Suzuka 1000 kilometer race in 1994 um, this is the uh, is produced by Shuko so it's a collaboration model we do have uh, decorations included in this car again cannot show it here but um, decos are, are included 
this is the winner car as well for that race. And then moving on to the 143 scale, we do have a new tooling for this month, which is the Pendum GIRs in the, of course, very, um, very iconic Advan Yokohama livery. Again, this is the 143 scale. Pre-order signing today, so there's a two-week two pre-order window. So please do contact our um, resellers to pre-order yours. And in case you're, if you're looking for uh, the shops near your area, there are a couple ways to find the, find those stores. One is to um, visit our website. We have a reseller list. Um, if and then if that list is not up to date, uh, you can always just Google search Tarmac Works plus the, your city or your country that you're located. Oftentimes, the shops will pop up um, on the Google search, so it's very easy. Uh, some stores, most of the stores do offer pre-orders, so do contact them. Uh, we ourselves, we don't uh, offer pre-orders directly. Uh, so the, all of these cards will be uh, for sale once they are released, and, and, and then we'll have them in the web store, but we, our website do not do pre-orders, so please do find our resellers to uh, pre-orders, because all of our cars are limited production runs, so... If you don't get it now, um, it, it might be sold out later, and most of the time they are, so um, it's, it's best that you pre-order them. So please do contact them for a pre-order. The last one in the 143 scale for this particular pre-order is the LB Works, LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR in the candy blue color, and as you can see on the roof and the front bonnet it does have that carbon by fiber uh, pattern and finish on it red bucket seats very clean looking gtr um really nicely made i think it's in this sort of metallic uh, candy blue color so that does it for the uh first batch of the may pre-order which is happening today starting today and then we're going to have another one in two weeks which is may 25th also a thursday and that that list will include most of the hobby 64 plus um a a, um, a collaboration model which we're going to show you right now the first one is a hobby 64 new tooling this is the rwb 997 philadelphia This is a brand new tooling and the estimated release is in October as well. One thing I do want to mention about this particular car is we made the, uh, especially for the rear wheel arch, extra wide, if you will. Um, so it might it, it's, it kind of shows it on, on, on the video here, but I think when you hold it in your hand, you really see um, the stance and how wide it is. We have done... This is our fifth RWB model, I believe. We were the first one to do the 64 scales. And um, each one of them, we have sort of made improvements over the previous models. And I think this one in particular also, we have made um, some steps in, into improving the, the shape of the car. And I think the team has done a really good job in that. So once you hold it in your hand, you can really see uh, the low stands as well as the rear um, the, the bulking the bulging rear wheel arch which which looks fantastic I think next up we have my favorite livery of all time probably now <laughs> by now is the Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo 2 this is the Hello Kitty uh, livery which we design on uh, internally uh, we work with Sanrio, uh, Hong Kong, uh, and their team on the on the on the livery. Uh, but uh, this is in the, the, the race in the Macau GT Cup last year, driven by our friend Anthony Fong. Um, we went with a very retro sort of uh, livery. Uh, I probably said that before. Um, as you can see, uh, with the red, yellow, and blue, uh, some green as well on the top. Both sides, if you look at the car, is different. 
it's a, it has a different Hello Kitty uh, image on it as well. So um, it, it just it's just a very very cool looking um, motor, especially when you see um, the actual the actual car and the track. It actually looks fantastic, and so um, this will come with a special packaging with a story booklet with a lot of photos, uh, results as well. We do have a actual actually it's something new for this particular. This is the Evo Two, so we have updated the rear wing as well, so that the arm of the rear wing is 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 also different. As you can see here from the previous models, so um, not only is a new the new new livery with a special packaging box, it also has a new uh, rear wing. So something to look forward to for this particular car. Next up, continuing our Macau GT Cup uh, um, models is also a a car that we sponsored and actually was very fortunate to actually win the race. Uh, this is the Macau GT Cup 2022 winner, the Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, we work with Crop Bamboo Racing and driven by Mauro Angle, factory driver from AMG. Uh, this will also come with a, a special packaging box with a story booklet. Um, basically all the cars that we we now have, you know, sponsor or title sponsor will, will come with this uh, story booklet just to commemorate uh, the the event the the, the race, um, just to show a lot of really nice pictures and as well as the results. Um, so it's it's a, it's a definitely a, a, a car um, and a packaging that you want to you want to keep. And it you can as you can see um, the Tomac Works logo on the sides. Um, this was delivery was created also by our friend John Sabal. So thanks so much for him to him for for designing this really nice looking livery. Um, it does have the, the chrome uh, finish on it as well. Um, so it, it it's it's a really really look, good great looking uh, livery as well. Uh, so we have we have two very special um, tarmac livery cars uh, that raced in Macau GT Cup last year and uh, definitely a a huge milestone for us and definitely a very memorable sort of day for for our team as well. Moving on is a Ferrari F40 LM model that raced in the 24 hours of Le Mans in 1994. Uh, again, all of these cars are targeted for October 23 release. This is the Ferrari F40 LM and you can see the red bucket seat in the interior which looks fantastic. Next up we have a Porsche 935 K3 that raced in the DRM in 1980 and the DRM is the German racing championship basically. So um, in the of course very iconic Jägermeister um, livery. Again, this is the Porsche 935 K3 that raced in 1980. So we got some classic, you know, race cars from the 80s, from the 90s, and also in, you know, in recent years in this particular uh, release. Next up, we have a Road 64, one of my favorite models of all time, the Mitsubishi Starion, a funky looking, retro looking car. Uh, this is the silver and dark red two-tone. Um, back in those days, there are a lot of two-tone cars, and, and I don't know why they don't do it anymore. Um, they, sometimes they do, but it, it's more for the retro-looking models. But uh, this particular car reminds me of the Tommy car that I that I collected uh, when I was very small, and I I I used to hold on to that car a lot, and uh, so. This particular color and this particular car means a lot to me, and so this is the silver and dark red two tone. Also has a very retro looking uh, sort of ruby red color in the interior, which I think looks fantastic. So this is the Road 64 Mitsubishi Starion. 
Next we have the Mini Champs Tarmac Collab, also the Cayman GT4 RS. This is in the GT Silver metallic color. Very clean looking, very um, classic Porsche silver color. This is the, uh, again, it's a brand new tooling. Uh, you saw the, the yellow and the ruby before, and this is the GT Silver metallic. This is the first sort of regular release, if you will. Only 1,500 pieces, that's it, uh, for this particular color. So I strongly suggest to, to pre-order this because 1,500 nowadays is a very low number and um, you want to get your hands on this one and so uh, please contact our authorized resellers to, to pre-order it again this is the Porsche Cayman GT4 RS then moving on to the last, last part of our IG live today is of course the sneak peek and we got a really good one for you it is the Koenigsegg CC850. So this is still in the, of course, in the 3D print version, uh, but it already has been approved by Koenigsegg. We signed a uh, long multi-year uh, deal with Koenigsegg, so you will be seeing a lot of Koenigsegg models from now on. Um, this is the new, their newest models, the CC850. Originally only limited to 50 units, as, as in the real car, um, to celebrate um, the, uh, the founder's 50th birthday, uh, Christian von Koenigsegg. Um, but however, however, the demand was 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 uh, you know was amazing, and actually they were they announced six days later that they will produce an additional 20 units, so there will be 70 units being produced. Um, the target release date is around Q1. 24 um, but again like I said everything has been approved by Koenigsegg so we're moving along swiftly with this model this particular model um, Koenigsegg side actually requested that we do uh, two different sort of slightly different version one with the rear wing down as you can see here and then there will be a, a version with the rear wing up uh, so there you sh we will see two kind of variations uh, to this particular model, which I, I think is 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 great. Um, it does have the very classic Koenigsegg look to it, um, but you know, sort of a modernized version. So this is the, again the CC850 by Koenigsegg, and this will be under the Global 64 collection. And actually, all of the uh, Koenigseggs will be. In, in this particular, uh, in, in the Global 64 collection, some of them we will have a, we'll give them a carbon fiber treatment to it. So the whole car or sub part of the car, large part of the car will have that carbon fiber treatment. We're not sure about this particular car, but for the other, um, they will be, and they will be, it will be put into a, a um, acrylic box, display base, all that um, to give it, give it a more sort of premium finish, if you will. And so, um, and this was also requested by, on the Koenigsegg side. Um, so we will have those coming uh, for you. That basically concludes today's um, showing of the cars. I'm just reading through um, some comments and questions if we have any. Um, let me just go through some of these. When will the red F40 LM release? The, um, the ones announced before are coming. Um, we, we are um, planning on a plain red one as well, um, which Ferrari told us that we can, we can do. Uh, so it's going through the approval process and hopefully we can have those uh, for you very shortly um, because it, of course the red Ferrari is, is the iconic one. Um, I think that's about it. 
uh, I see a, a few questions regarding where to buy the model. So, of course, contact our local resellers. Like I said, um, we do have a list uh, on our website. Uh, there are some shops that are not on there, but you can just Google search Timex Works Plus the country that you're in, for example, Mexico, and, and it should come up in the Google search. Um, of course, and, and for for our web store, it's open to worldwide shipping, uh, only not available to South America because of the customs issues there, but uh, everything everywhere else, basically, we, we do ship internationally. So, uh, and, the, and the shipping prices have, have gone down a bit um, and, uh, because of the post-COVID era. So uh, we have up, we, we always update the shipping fees based on what the couriers are charging. We never really mark up on those. And so um, you, you should see a, a, uh, a decrease in the shipping costs, shipping fees uh, from, from, from our website as well. So do check those out. Um, other than that, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys like what you've seen in terms of the new releases coming next week. Also, the pre-orders. Again, the, the, the Global 64 and the 4V43 scale pre-order are signing today. Um, and then in two weeks' time, there will be the Hobby 64 pre-orders as well. And I hope you enjoyed the Koenigsegg uh, CC850. We'll, we will have or we will be showing more uh, coding set models um, uh, in the next uh, few months, I'm sure. And uh, thank you again for um, joining this IG Live. And we will be showing the re replay, rerun, whatever you call it, uh, on IG as well as YouTube. Uh, so do check it out later if you've missed it or you want to just go back and, and, and take a look at the playback. So thank you again for joining, and then we will see you in June. Thanks again.